Hey everyone, today we're at the Central Florida Zoo in Sanford, Florida to see the Asian Lantern Festival Into the Wild. This is our first time experiencing this festival, so we're so excited to see what it's all about. So join us as we explore a world full of color, culture, and creativity with these amazing larger-than-life lantern displays. The Asian Lantern Festival Into the Wild is going on now through January 19th and takes place at the Central Florida Zoo in Sanford, Florida, which is about 20 miles north of Orlando. This year, the festival is celebrating the Year of the Dragon with dozens of new displays. The festival consists of more than 50 larger-than-life displays along a three-fourths mile path around the zoo. The festival is broken down into four different areas, the first area as soon as you walk into the park is the Garden Gate. Here you'll feel bug-sized as you walk among gigantic lily pads towering above the walkway. There's also tons of beautiful birds, lotus flowers, and frogs. The lotus flower is a common theme in traditional Chinese art as a symbol of purity and elegance. There's even some interactive spots like this little hopping mini game where if you beat the challenge, the frog will open his mouth and stick his tongue out. You did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> he sticks his little tongue out. That's cute. The Cultural Corridor celebrates the culture, art, and beauty of traditions throughout Asia. Here, you'll see beautiful displays of cranes, sika deer, elk, orchids, and butterflies. You'll notice that most of the zoo animals will not be available during the festival since it does take place after regular zoo hours. However, there are some birds that you can see in this area as you walk along the walkway. There are also stunning displays featuring the Chinese opera, as well as the lion dance, which is a form of traditional dance in Chinese culture, where performers mimic a lion's movement in a lion costume. Yu Shi Xia is a character from Chinese mythology who has a green snake on her left ear and a red snake on her right ear. The Cultural Corridor also has a kids' garden area with a few fun photo spots and a light-up dance floor. On select nights, they will have live music to enjoy in this area. This display is of an oil paper umbrella which originated in China and is commonly sold as works of art and souvenirs. New this year is the huge palace display with beautiful birds and cherry blossoms. But one of my favorite areas of the festival was the Drum Corridor. As well as the Lantern and Umbrella Corridor. And there's even a giant dragon in celebration of the Year of the Dragon. This display is just massive in person and the camera just doesn't do it justice. The third area of the festival is the Wild Walk, which celebrates animals of all kinds. Here you can see larger-than-life spiders, snails, cougars, jaguars, buffalo, parrots, armadillo, and sloths. There are fun photo opportunities with these festive picture frames, flower chairs, and colorful swings. My favorite display in this area are the beautiful brown bears with playful cubs. At the end of the Wild Walk area is this massive jungle display. 
where you can see monkeys and colorful peacocks with animatronic tail feathers. Whoa. Wow, that's really cool. There's even a market here with authentic artisan crafts. The final area is the Holiday Hop, where you can see Christmas decorations with some festive photo spots. There's also a section for Hanukkah with a giant menorah. There's even some colorful deer here that are made with special material that gives you a different visual experience when viewed from different angles. And get hit with a smoke bomb from this Rafflesia smoke machine. <laughs> Stand in awe of the ice dragon as it raises its head and roars at guests passing by. And the finale is the Chinese Zodiac Walkway where you can find and take photos with your Zodiac animal. For doggos. If you are planning on seeing the Asian Lantern Festival, here are a few tips and tricks to get the most out of your visit. The Asian Lantern Festival is a separately ticketed event that occurs at night after the normal zoo operating hours. Tickets are $24.99 per person ages 3 and up, or you can do a four-pack for $80. Children 2 and under are free. Tickets must be purchased online in advance to ensure entry as many nights will sell out. Do not expect to see the zoo animals during the event. The animals will be in their night habitats, so you will need to visit during the day to see the animals. In addition to the lanterns, there are local food options, authentic artisan craft shops, and on select nights, there will be live musical entertainment. The Lantern Path is three-fourths mile long and takes most groups about an hour and a half to see everything. However, you can feel free to take as long as you need and are able to do the tour more than once. I really enjoyed this festival and highly recommend seeing it. The lanterns and displays are really well done and are definitely worth seeing. It's a fun, unique holiday experience and there's nothing else like it in the area. If you found this information helpful, I would love it if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to get more ideas like this to do in Central Florida and beyond. I release a new video every week and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. Also, I would love to give a huge shout out to my channel members. You help make this channel possible. If you would love to help support what we do here and also get exclusive emotes, videos, and more, check out the link in the description for more details. If you would like to see what other holiday events there are happening in Central Florida, you're in luck because I've got an entire playlist for you that just popped up on the screen. In this playlist, I'll go over all the different holiday events here in Central Florida you won't want to miss. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an incredible holiday season.